Hello, and welcome back to our Black History Month video series featuring Black educators in the Duke field. My name is Don Jordan. I'm the Program Educator Assistant for Lincoln University in Corona, Missouri. It is my pleasure to introduce you, DeAndre Watson. Hello, I am DeAndre, and I am a junior at Corona High School. It is my pleasure to introduce Ms. Paula McDory. So for the first question, tell us a little bit about yourself and your position. All right, I am Paula McAdory. Uh, I work for Crossville Middle School. I am an in-school suspension teacher. Uh, I've been an educator for over 25 years now. Um, I have two daughters and I am married to Tyson McAdory. Do you have additional roles other than in the classroom? Oh yes, I have. Uh, I am a middle school bas girls basketball coach and I am a middle school slash boys track and field coach. And I am also on the PBIS tier two team. What fuel your desire to be an educator? <sighs> What fuel my desire to be an educator? Um, one thing was I did not want to go into business at the time. And uh, I love playing sports and I love uh, being around kids. So I think that was the biggest influence. When did you know you wanted to persuade education? <laughs> When uh, my daddy, when my grandfather, T. Roy Vance, which he was in McDonough Corporation, um, I knew then that I didn't want to go in business and I wanted to go in education because I was really good at playing sports and I wanted to stay in that part of education. Is there a mentor who you would identify as someone who encouraged you to pursue education? Mm. Yes, um, my volleyball coach at the time was Donna Clark. She influenced me and my basketball coach um, at the time was Buddy James. He influenced me and actually I went on scholarship for those two sports, so. Who are your biggest influences? One of my biggest influence uh, was coach Joe Cagle. Um, that was also an educator. Uh, my mom, my grandmother, uh, my brothers, uh, and a few more of the community uh, people with their influence, influence in my life. Did you have any black teachers when you was in school? How did they make you feel? Uh, Ms. Williams taught me in kindergarten. Uh, did have uh, a few black teachers that was in the school district, uh, like Miss Hill, Miss Carter, she was in our school district, uh, Coach Cago. <laughs> What are steps you took early in life that helped you today? Were you involved in school and community groups? Oh, yes. Um, some of the steps I took were playing sports that uh, led me to a, a scholarship, um, being in clubs, Girl Scout, um, 4-H, we didn't have a lot of groups uh, growing up that we we could be a part of, like this generation. We, so since you was involved in school, what are some of the skills you learned? Um, some of the skills that I learned were um, getting along with other students. I also learned uh, how to be teamwork. Um, I learned how to uh, treat people how I want to be treated. I learned how to be on time 
which is very important because I'm usually, I mean, I'm hardly ever late for work because I know one thing for practice, you had to be on time or you had extra running. So what would you say to students that's not involved? Uh, I would say to students that's not involved to get involved in some type of club, sports, um, even if it's just working in community with uh, community groups, uh, it'll teach them so much on how to give back and how to working together with other people that's on their job, which is very important. Did you like school growing up? I love school. <laughs> oh. All the action was at school. You yeah. never wanted to miss a day of school just to stay at home. No, you you miss something if you miss school. That's just how exciting school was growing up. What did your path do being an educator look like? Uh, my path, I always went to class. I was on track the whole time I was in college. Uh, I had to go an extra year because of sports but I always stayed on track with, uh, towards my education. And where did you go to school? I went two years at Three Rivers Community College in Pop Bluffs, Missouri. Then I transferred to the University of West Alabama to finish my uh, degree. Okay. What are some of the biggest obstacles you faced in becoming an educator? The biggest obstacles I faced was, I guess the only one I really faced was um, that practice for the state of Missouri. I got all my classes and all my tests done in, for the University of West Alabama and uh, got my degree. And then when I transferred to Missouri, I had to redo a practice for the state of Missouri. And I think that was one of the obstacles as far my biggest one. Do you feel there are benefits in having a diverse school staff? Yes, I think there's some benefits to having a diverse uh, school staff. What advice would you give to those, especially African-American youth who want to pursue education as a career? I would tell them that um, I think that it would be a good way to make good living if uh, they're planning on having a family. They will have more time with them in the summer and the holidays. Uh, and also uh, that it would be a good way to give back to African-American uh, students. Are there specific things that you do to be a role model for African-American youth? Yes, there's many things I do to be a role model for African-American uh, students. Uh, I try to work with them uh, in outside of school and inside of school. Um, if it's anything that needs to be done and they need help, uh, um, their form um, uh, and being an example in school, in the classroom and outside the classroom is very important. What else would you like to share with us today? One thing I would like to share is that we do need more African-American educators. And if you haven't decided to on the, the career that you would like to uh, take, I think that you should look into being a teacher so that you can educate and make a difference in uh, the youth's lives. Thank you for joining me today. This is one of the eight part series featured Black Educators in the Booth View. Be sure to visit the Pemiscot County 4-H Facebook page in the Blue Hill 4-H YouTube channel for additional videos and more information about 4-H.